Okay guys, as if we didn't have enough here, work at the shop, I took on a 70 Cougar. Now this is Bob, this is Bob, I was going to say, this is Dave's brother Bob. He had the body shop in town, um, and he's, he's re long but retired, but he still does the odd job himself at home too. So he's been doing the body work on the 70 Cougar and the torque boxes are rotted out. So he hasn't got a hoist or anything at home, so he brought it down to me to replace the, uh, to replace the torque boxes. So I'm just starting on it here today. But most importantly, Dr. Dave is back from his cold. Now you watch, guaranteed he's going to blame me. Let's go see what Dr. Dave is up to. How you doing there today, Dr. Dave? Uh, How you feeling? Thanks to you. <laughs> thanks to who? Thanks to you. Thanks to me, eh? You can thank Zoltan the asshole. Oh, well, it all began with Zoltan. Do you not agree, though? Yeah, that's where it all started. That's where it all started. So did you enjoy your time off? Twelve days. Twelve days off. <coughs> yeah. You sound healthy now, though. Oh, compared to dying, yeah. Yeah, that was good. And I want to thank all my YouTubers out there for wishing me well. Yeah. You notice I didn't write in. No. <laughs> All you did was swear at me. Stay home. Stay home. You got a disease. Stay home. Don't you dare come here. Yeah, well. Yeah. And yet you come in here and you spread the wealth. Well, well, well I have to be the boss. I'm just going to stand here and get stoned. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. So what, 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 are you, what are you doing here anyway? What do you got? What do you, oh, holy, Dave's dying here. What do, you got, what do you got on the go here? Putting on the weather strip rubber trunk to the musk can. The musk can, eh? Okay, I see you got some good. You got some good glue here. This is what we use here in the shop. 3M weather stripping. We use black, correct? We don't want yellow because it makes no, a mess after, it's right? No, black rubber. We can kind of pawn it off as just the rubber that slipped all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I could. Yeah, we just lost two more customers. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, well, you can see Dave's attitude hasn't changed any. As sick as he is. I'm talking cold, not not mentally. Oh, yeah. I need help. Yeah, well, we all need help. We work here at Old Time Garage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so D D Dave's uh, Dave's playing in the in the spare room by himself with his rubber, and we'll. Uh, is there any other way to play? I don't. I don't know. Is there? Oh, uh, there's always like punch pounding, but. I've never heard of that before. No. Oh, oh, well, that's okay. You can come in. Darren, Darren's coming in. He's out there working. Come on in. So. You can go. So anyway, anyway, so this is what's going on. So Dave's onto the Mustang, and we got the uh, we got the Cougar here. Just give me half a sec. Darren might want. Okay, me. so we're right back, back here. So here's the uh, here's the Cougar that Dave's brother Bob is working on. It's kind of hard to see. It's up on the lift. It's a 1970. So he's doing that. Now he's not doing it here, obviously. Like I said, he's doing it at home. He does the odd job at home. But here we go. I can see. I got this. I got this side of the torque box cut out. Obviously by the big big gapping hole here. And I, I put a piece of metal in here. Then we had to put a piece in here. And now we got the plate that's gonna go right over top here. And everything will be butt welded in. Then we've got the uh oh here Dave's got something to say because he's smiling. What's up? Did anybody catch my t-shirt? Let's let's zoom in on Dave's t-shirt. Are those man boobs? Yes, I'm old. Oh, okay. <coughs> Rider Lake Rebuilders. <coughs> Stoned or drunk? We'll fix your junk. That's and there's, right. there's Dave under the car. Yep. Right he is there. dressed like you. Look at He's got blue jeans on, a white shirt. Yeah, well, that's me. That's you. Yeah, I'm a rider of Rebuilders. Well, I, so you're trying to take business away from me now? Nobody wants me to work on their vehicles at my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's hard enough just to get up your driveway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, so here's... <laughs> Here's the other side of the torque box. You can just see the rot. Now this side's got the e-brake cable and the fuel line going through it, but you can just you can just see all the the rust and all the crap that's going on. So so we're hoping to have these we're hoping to have these all done today. I mean, as you can see, uh, I got this one all cut out. I got the piece of metal made. What I do is I got the metal right over here, which I'm going to show you. Now people always ask me. I don't know who it is, but people are always asking me, do you, do you do anything at the backside before you put it in? And yes, I do. I put on, like I say, there it is there. I put on the high build zinc weld through primer. I don't just jam metal up in there where you're never going to see it again. 
and leave it bare metal. You got to put something on there. And then what you do is after when it's all done, we'll get back around here. As you can see, we'll look at the rusty side. There's access holes up in here. So you can get up in there and you can take the the shoots gun with a straw on it and you can you can spray in there the best you can with undercoating or whatever you prefer to use whether it's trim clad paint or whatever but you can mix something up and shoot it in there which we will do here so that and i've done the same thing already up in here i've already let me get the light around there you can see how the clean it isn't up in there i sprayed it I, I i wire wheeled it cleaned it off and i sprayed the weld through zinc primer on there then i sprayed a nice black texture spray in there because that stuff isn't going to burn off when i'm welding because i'm not near that area so we do spray it behind everything before we do it. So, I'm working on that. Dave's working on the Mustang. He's dying in the other room as you can hear him. And that's it. So, so we just wanted to let you guys see what was going on today. And uh, on Dave's behalf, I'll say, remember, it's always a good time at old time. Even though Dave's here sick, coughing, hacking, spreading the disease around and trying to give it back to me, which I never gave it to him to begin with. I told you, didn't I tell you at the beginning of this video, he was gonna blame me. See you later, guys. <laughs>